You're watching the Steve's Haunted Yard Channel. Get your haunt on. Hello, people. It's been a couple of days since I've done a vlog, and uh, I got some mail, so I figured I'd vlog it. What the hell? Uh, I haven't really done a lot of prop stuff, so I didn't want to upload anything. But I ordered this the other day, and it sure seemed smaller than I thought, so probably ordered the wrong thing. Yeah, this is not even enough to do what I want to do with it. I guess I can make a couple with it. But I got some of the pink glue sticks um, that um, Still Be Studios uses to make some of those gum plates. I got a bunch of the, or not a bunch, but I have some of the white and I've made a bunch of teeth. So I'm going to use a couple of these, make a couple of those uh, gum plates. Give that a shot. So that's that. I got it from the place he talks about, uh, ADCO Plastic Products. Um, they have free shipping, so it's kind of cool. You get the glue sticks and you don't pay for shipping, so that's pretty awesome. And I don't know if I showed you guys my clay. Armadillo Clay here in Austin, a um, place that uh, Don and Mary told me about. Oh, look at this 25 pound block of clay. $8. I got two of these bad boys, and that's what we molded are used to make the uh, brow and um, my plate molds so here's the you guys have seen this I put felt on the bases so uh, when you put them down they don't clank and you can spin them around I mean they spin real easy and without scraping the table you know they would leave chalky stuff on the table um, and you could easily stack them and they don't hurt each other. Oh yeah. So um, I just I saw somebody had done something like that. And just really makes them easier to handle and deal with. So I thought that was a cool, neat tip. I don't remember if Alan talked about that in one of his videos or not. But uh, yep. And so there's a couple of uh, updates for Steve's Haunted Yard. And I will now upload... I'll add a couple, a little bit of footage to this video. Uh, a couple of more. I went uh, a couple days ago to the the larger restore that's in Austin. Holy crap! I had never been to the big one, so I'm going to show you the inside of the restore there. And I don't remember else what else I haven't vlogged yet, so or uploaded. So, all right, right after this. Oh yeah, I, I was when you were messing with that. I was fighting. Look out, Ray, you're on fire. <laughs> Mary's face is glowing. <laughs> it's reflecting in Don's glasses. Yeah, you can see the flame in your glasses. Oh, no. Yeah, I see the oh, fire yeah. in your eyes. Yeah. Fire in my eyes. <laughs> All right, guys, so here's the video from the ReStore. This freaking place was huge. I mean, they had just about everything. And the only restore I had been to is the one that's near my house in Georgetown. That store could fit in here probably 30 times. It's a really tiny store. Uh, they've got cabinets in here, freaking toilets, sinks, you name it. And they're like super, super cheap. Look at all that caulk. Have you ever seen so much caulk? Hey, I just wanted to show you. These are like all the different elements I've been working on. Um, I've just pinned these onto one of these uh, painter's sock masks. A couple of little tacks just to hold these on in place. But here's the brain molds that I've been working on. This is latex. Here's the brow mold that was just recently finished by myself and Christy, Dionysia 12. And then here's one of the two different styles of zombie mouths that I have been working on. And I thought, hey, let's stick all those together and see what it looks like. I think that's pretty dang creepy. 
and cool. Yeah, it's very cool. I need to like, I could latex these on there. I could put me a layer of latex and, and really sit this stuff down. Or I could just have it flop it. I mean, that's kind of cool, floppy. I can make a couple of these masks and paint some of them different ways. And I've got me some uh, pretty cheap masks using my latex plate molds. So, pretty cool. <laughs> Please subscribe today. There's the bat. The wacky bat.